Moments after cops shot wrong person. Man, I get there, bro. I thought you were a bad guy. What was wrong with you? Get the ambulance here. Where are you hit? In my groin and my chest. Not the Not the okay, that's a start. That's a start. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! We're doing a movie. Excuse me? <laughs> wow. All right. This is going to be an interesting one. Red the Panda, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Stop. Sorry, Nick. Did you find her? It's okay. This was the moment a cop regretted pulling his gun, and this is just way similar cases. Okay, there it goes. What the fuck? That was weird. What? Like, what the fuck? On August 11th, 2023, <clears throat> police officers responded to reports of a man. Are we sure we want to watch this? Oh man, I don't, I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> Shut up! Brandishing a gun during. Uh, we're watching it. What do you mean? An argument. The gunman, later identified as 36-year-old Lewis Gordon, no second a, guessing. fled into a nearby apartment upon seeing the officers barricading himself in. inside, sparking a heated struggle for entry. Get some headphones with RGB like the, they're fast as fuck. I'll also, chat, what you should get is the RGB piss mug in uh, in combination with the with the shit bucket, the RGB shit bucket. Got a great deal going on, guys. You could get a combo pack of both of them. Uh, they're prototypes. We've been working on it for a while. <clears throat> so, yeah, look out for that. Coming soon. Just right off the bat, huh? Just right off the... I'll shoot you! I'll shoot you. Officers overpowered him, gaining entry into the house. He was tackled to the ground, and during the ensuing struggle, Gordon Hay was shot by the officer after he returned Gordon Hay's fire. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He fired. Did you fire him? I shouldn't have a let go of gun. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, I'm confused. Roll that back again. What? Gordon Hay was shot by the officer after he returned Gordon Hay's fire. So the the dude shot first. I'm confused. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He fired. Did you fire? Him? I shouldn't have. Let go of It's okay. It's okay. Clear if you're going to throw. I don't okay I don't get it did the dude shoot first and then the cop shot shouldn't have let go of the gun so I assume relax hey hey get over here man He obviously fucked up because he seems really pissed off about it. I feel bad for this cop. Yeah, you could, okay, I feel like this dude isn't really a bad guy at all. I feel like Did he drop his gun? <clears throat> He's remorseful. Okay, so I think what I'm gathering here is I think that he got a hold of the other dude's gun, but um, he lost handle of it or he let go of the other dude's gun. The other dude got it, shot it, which prompted him to shoot him, which he didn't want to happen. So I think he's upset that he let go of the dude's gun because he, 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 you know, he, he wouldn't have had to shoot the guy. I think that's what's happening. 
the officer was swept up in the heat of the moment, reacting out of muscle memory when Gordon Hay fired first. Despite attempts by his fellow officers to reassure him that the suspect had it coming, the officer remained consumed by guilt. Poor guy. I wouldn't be surprised if he quit the force after this. <clears throat> that must be tough. Yeah, like, th this situation is so fucked up. Like, these situations in general. Like, you can tell this dude actually is a good cop and doesn't actually want to shoot anyone, man. That's rough. Man. Get my partner. Get him out of here. No, uh, get hit to him because he's. Get your partner, come here. Okay. Yes. Did he just shoot you? No. Hey, he's being recorded. This. He didn't shoot you though, right? No. Check, just check to make sure, cause that that round went off. I that wasn't you or him. That's what I'm saying. I didn't. You, you're okay, right? This is a very normal reaction to shooting a person. Poor guy. Yeah. A rare, a rare like nor. I don't know, like. I never really see, like, whenever you see a cop shoot, like, videos of, like, a cop uh, ending up having to shoot someone, like, it's so rare to actually see someone, like, genuinely get affected by it in, the, in like, a normal way. You know what I mean? I, I get, you know, shock and stuff like that, but I don't know. Like, this, this feels like a very human reaction to the situation. Observing his restlessness, other officers promptly decided to check him for bullet wounds, recognizing that he might not have felt them at the moment due to the surge of adrenaline and his heightened tension. You good, man? Wait, did he get shot? Look at me. Look at me. You good? Do we have a? Uh, it sounds a like he's going through a panic attack right now. Yeah, I'd say so. Your 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 chest is tight, right? Yeah, he's having a panic attack. You all right? Are the other guy's dead? I'm assuming the other guy's dead because I don't think he'd be reacting like this if he just shot him in the leg. You know what I mean? I, I'm pretty sure he killed the guy. He, and he did not want to. He probably didn't even mean to shoot the guy. It was probably just reflex. And he you know, have a, shot have him a in a vital spot. Yeah, but it's having a hard time breathing. Both officers were taken to the hospital, but only sustained minor bruises from the struggle with the suspect. The suspect, in critical condition, was later pronounced dead at the Advocate Christ Medical yeah. Center. Following the incident, both officers involved in the shooting were placed on 30 days of administrative duty. While this officer expressed deep regret for his actions, the same couldn't be said for the officers in the next case. <laughs> Three, come out. Come out. Come out. Two. Two. All right, take him. Right, get off, get off. On February 1st, 2016, oh Savannah Chatham police officers were patrolling en route to execute an arrest warrant for a man named Michael Clay. They observed and approached a man matching the description. Little did they know that he was the wrong man, and they were about to make grave oh, mistakes. Oh, wonderful. How you doing? What's your name, man? What's your name? I'm and now back to regularly scheduled programming. Cops that don't give a shit. Yeah, guys, we had, we had a genuine cop, and now we now we got this shit. We, need, we probably need to talk. To you, so Stand up. Stand up. Turn around, put your hands in the car. What happened? Turn around, put your hands in the car. What did I do? Okay, you're supposed to at least tell him why. Am I wrong? Like, you don't just walk up to a random dude, don't clarify who he is, and then just be like, oh, you're arrested now. <clears throat> why was the last cop placed on leave? Yeah, mental health.
they they, they let them go on uh, uh, leaves for whenever like situations like that happen. Dude, you got a warrant, dude. You got a warrant. He just came back from his probation officer. came back from my probation officer. Get, get your hand off the wheel. I got, I got a taser. No, man. Hey, Jack, I got, I got a taser. Back, no, up, back, no, up, man. back up. Yeah, taser. No, back up. All right, taser. Back coming out. Taser. You coming out? Taser. Come out. Dude, what the fuck? That quick. Just that quick. Instantly. Taser. him. Taser. Him. Nothing's even happened. You're already screaming, tase him. Like, what the fuck? Tase him. Get your hand out now. You, you got dude, they, honestly, kudos to the dude holding the taser. This fucking racist asshole is just, tase him. Tase him now. Tase him. Tase him. This dude's holding it strong. At least he has a maybe slight morals. We'll see. Maybe he gets worse. Yeah, three seconds. Three seconds, dude. Do not reach. Get up. Put your hands on the car. I'm getting up, man. Guess what? Get your... Three. Come out. Two. All right, take him. He was forcibly removed from the vehicle, shot with a stun gun, and placed in cuffs. However, the moment the officers checked his ID, they soon realized they had shot and arrested the wrong person. Wow, what a surprise. Imagine if you actually asked him for his ID and, and like, asked him questions. Instead of just instantly tase him, tase him now, tase him. What the fuck? Here's the deal, dude. The officer realized that the man they had just shot with a stun gun was 24 year old Patrick Mumford, not the Michael Clay they claimed to have an active arrest warrant for earlier. However, instead of apologizing and releasing him, their imagine next actions doing your job in disbelief. Here's the deal, dude. I don't know if you got a warrant because you're not who I'm looking for, but here's the deal. When I ask you for ID because you look a lot like the person. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's going to try to talk himself out of this. Try to give him like, well, you see, it's actually your fault that you're in this situation. I didn't do anything wrong. It's actually your fault. Oh, man. Y'all Ow! All right, well, that Okay. When we ask you for ID because you look a lot like the person we're looking for. Hmm. Really? He looks a lot like the person you... Oh, I, I wonder why you're saying that. Feels like you're starting to say uh, something... Feels like you're starting to say a little something racist there, little pup. I don't know. I don't know. You look a lot like the other guy. So much like the other guy. That living at this address? Oh, Lord. You give us ID. And when you start this whole fight and nonsense, dude... You, you, you caught yourself a charge you didn't need to catch, man. All you had to do is give me this. But when you came up, asked me that know He didn't even ask him. He didn't ask him for his ID ever. Who, who does he look a lot like? I don't know. He knows who it is. So who is it? What a fucking Michael? loser. He is not Michael. We, I, okay, I know that now. But when I walk up there and ask him, first my name's Patrick. No, first I said of all, Patrick. Y'all didn't have no right. We well, actually do have a right. True. Came to the household and asked if Michael's here. Okay. Well, they it, he was my son? Yes. Really? They don't even look nothing alike. And then besides, they the, the picture. See? Oh, let's get mom out here. Let's get mom out here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah we got. They look exactly. They, 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 do they not look lie. a lot, a good bit of white, man. Dude, both of the cops. Both of the cops. Oh, well, all of you look the same. They look exactly the same. Holy shit, dude. How racist can you be? Like, you're just full front being racist. Like, you don't even care. You, maybe not, man, but to the future we have, Michael, I want Michael's your son. They attempted to justify their misuse of power by claiming Patrick's resemblance to Michael. The neighbor accurately pointed out the officer's falsehood, noting that the man bore no resemblance whatsoever to Michael. Despite realizing their grave error and confirming that Patrick was not the individual- They're gonna double down and triple down because they're cops. They sought, they persisted in detaining him, pressing they him get against away with the car, shit. and now aim to charge him on trumped down charges of resisting arrest. Does Michael stay here? Oh, wow. Well, I'm you looking at that no, picture of me. Don't it's not far like off. Okay, are we wrong? You're not wrong. And he, wrong. Does, he doesn't want to give us his ID. Why is this thing cooperating? Shut, shut up! Patrick. Just shut up! Just shut up! I'm pissed! Oh, you now you're yelling at him? That's my name. Michael. Michael. Mm -hmm. 
Really? Pat, whatever. The both of y'all got my blood pressure up to here. <coughs> what has my son done now? He has. Your son has one. For what? I For here? Not no. It's out of somewhere else. It's in Georgia, but it's they they want him picked up. Oh. They sent us here. Okay. Pat, all you Why are you still holding him down on the car in cuffs? Uncuff him already. You're having a full conversation while you have a, an innocent man shoved down on a car, cuffed. Like, what the fuck? Would say my name yeah. Let him go already. Let him go. 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 That's when he's They never did. Yeah. And I'm, they never asked video, for it. Okay? It's not like we came up here just saying, hey, we're going to jack you up. Okay? Dude, th this cop knows he fucked up, and he's trying to save it so bad. Okay. When I have someone in a car that looks like he have a warrant, I'm not going to play the hanky-panky game of, of Peter around. And when he's trying to get hanky back into a car where I don't know if there's a weapon at, I'm going to act appropriately. What kind of hanky-panky games are you playing? The officers couldn't seem to stop lying at this point, but they were correct about one aspect. The entire incident was captured on their body camera. Throughout the interaction, the officer never requested Patrick's ID, let alone yep. asking three times. Instances like these highlight the significance of police body cameras as the officers mm -hmm. faced suspension and Patrick Mumford Good. received a $100,000 settlement after Hell suing yeah. the police department. If you're enjoying Let's this go. video so far, please remember to Rare like w. and subscribe. The next case is even worse lieutenant greg Bra oh wait wait this is this isn't the oh this is a different guy i think i was thinking of dr insanity oh yeah this is the inspector ray dude the dude who shows his face the guy that's all right Rackle how do i think it's the other guy? to a radio call about a drug bust occurring in a mcdonald's parking lot near central and tramway hands up hands up oh yeah this was the guy i got jealous of because he gets way more views than me and i'm still jealous we back? Okay, we're back. God, I'm gonna have to get a new mic at some point. A man has been the target of racism in Lego City. Hey, get your police car and harass the nearest person with same skin tone as your suspect. Commit hate crimes. Hanky panky in stores now. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Oh my god. Put your hands where I can see them. Put your hands where I can see them. Apparently, his subordinates, Detective Grant, and his partner, Detective Garcia, involved in an undercover drug sting operation, had apprehended suspect drug dealers in their unmarked police vehicle. However, upon Lieutenant Gregg's arrival, he drew his weapon without fully assessing the situation and proceeded to make a career-altering action. Hands where I can see them. Good, good. Lieutenant Gregg observed some. Someone in the vehicle holding a gun, prompting him to fire two shots. After repositioning, he fired an additional six times into the vehicle, believing he six times. He had eliminated the threat posed by the gun-wielding drug dealers. He soon realized what he had actually done. Holy, back out! Oh shit, that was Jacob. Fuck me! Fuck! Give me Jacob! 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 And that's what happens when you have trigger happy cops all around. It was an acorn, you know, it could have been an acorn. Get like you the bro literally killed so like he killed a cop <laughs> cuz they're so fucking trigger happy. Oh my god. Wow. Are you okay? No. Fuck. Come on. Come on out, dude. Come on. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> Jacob! Jacob! Fuck! Fuck! Bro has no right to even cry about it. Oh, fuck! I thought he was a bad guy! I fucking love you, man! Hey, get in there! The lieutenant had fired eight bullets at Detective Jacob Grant, who was in the- Like, why empty the goddamn mag? Why? It must have been a goddamn acorn. He emptied the whole mag into him. Holy shit. Vehicle holding a gun to the suspect. He was devastated. Recognizing his actions could potentially destroy both him and the victim's life. Oh, 
Shaking their head in the room. Honestly, I'm surprised he's even alive right now this long. I, I mean, I don't know if he's going to live, but... Detective Jacob Grant sustained severe injuries to nearly all vital organs and had to undergo 13 surgeries. Luckily, he survived and was granted a $6.5 million settlement and had his medical expenses... Oh, well, of course he did because he's a cop. He gets a 6.5... When have you ever heard? When have you ever... Fu okay, look, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, you know like blame the victim here but when have you ever fucking heard a victim who's not a cop get anything above a hundred thousand dollars 6.5 million god damn dude that is crazy that's insane 6.5 million like holy shit there's people who I don't, oh like, okay, I'm just, I'm going to be honest here. If it wasn't a cop, they would not have gotten that. They would have gotten like 500,000 tops. 500,000 tops, maybe. That's crazy. Yeah, it's true. Actually, you're right. If it, was, if it wasn't a cop, they'd probably say it's justified. Good point. Good point. And the last guy got 100, I mean, he didn't get shot. He got tased. But still, to be fair, not many survive after eight shots. Yeah, I mean, okay, I, again, I want to clarify this. I'm not blaming him. Getting shot eight times and having to go through all those surgeries, honestly, $6 million would probably be the amount that is needed to pay off that. But my point is, if it was not a cop, they would not get the same treatment at all. Big eights people who get shot eight times and have 13 surgeries? All right, I'm, I'm getting canceled again, guys. Is covered by the state. I'm Lieutenant canceled Greg again. Brackle did not face criminal charges as the DA opted not to charge. See what I'm talking about? $6.5 million settlement. The dude who almost murders someone, like shooting him eight times, doesn't even get charged. Like, the only time you would ever hear these situations is when it's a fucking... That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. Wow. Charge him, but he lost his job in the process. That was truly heartbreaking, yet the following case proved even more tragic, with the officers involved having a day they'd rather forget. <laughs> Okay. We're not going to talk about this right now. We're going to focus on keeping you alive, okay? On June 13th, 2022, 62 year old Dick Kench uh, experienced an unforgettable event when Greenville Sheriff Deputy Kevin Azara responded to a medical alarm. God, look, like, look at this fucking loser, though. When Greenville Sheriff Deputy. Look at, he looks like a goddamn thumb with Oakley's on. Deputy Kevin Azara responded to a medical alarm triggered in the vicinity at midnight. The officer approached Tench's house and upon seeing him holding a firearm, fired multiple shots at him. Let me see your hands! Okay. Like, do, do cops, like, if, if they see someone with a gun, like, do they just get to automatically just spam at him i like i don't know i know the situation it all depends on the situation and stuff like that but the dude's at his house on his own property and like he literally just walked in and starts shooting him princess lemon drop thank you so much for the gifted sub <laughs> Like, again, I want to clarify, in specific situations, yes, 100%, they, they can shoot. But it's like, nothing? Not like, hey, man, uh, put the gun away. Like, hold, like holding a gun and up, put the gun down, put the gun down. No, he just opened door, boom, boom, boom. Like, nothing. <clears throat> yeah, throw the gun out the door. Let me see your hands. You? Yeah, you pointed a gun at me. The sheriff's office! What are you here for? Because we got an alarm call! Oh my god, call the cops, please! I am the cops! Call the ambulance, please! Alright, where's the gun? Hench was injured by the officer's gunfire and required immediate medical wow. attention. Where's the gun? The gun Alright, don't move. There's also a video in which cops come in like a hotel or something and get a guy out of the room and kill him in front of his girlfriend. Dear lord. Did he not even announce himself? That's what I'm saying. It's like, 
Okay, aren't these guys supposed to be trained to handle this? When they see a dude with a gun, like, and, and the dude is not, like, full-on, like, pointing it at the guy, right? Like, he just had a gun. Like, he just had a gun in his hand. If he, if the cop just, like, backed up, started yelling, drop the gun, put the gun toward the guy, and just told him, hey, have the cops, drop the gun, the dude would have chilled out, dropped the gun, everything would have been happy. But no, he just starts shooting. Are you the only one started blasting. with you, man? I'm up here. Wow, call the gun. What's wrong with you? Get the ambulance here. Where are you hit? In my groin, in my... Okay, all right. I, I, there's blood. One second, there's blood. You doing, man? You pointed a gun at me, man. You were in my house. Yeah, well, send me 1051. I rang your doorbell because we got I'm an alarm call. I'm in my groin. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't you don't Temple. try. Come here, hold this light. The officer opened wow. fire on Tench immediately after sighting him, which was terrible considering Tench was a licensed gun owner. I saw the lights when I heard the door. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro is on his property. He's on his property. I rang and I got him with my gun. I'm a concealed weapons guy. Okay. The ambulance here, man. I'm going to die. Shot me right here, dude. Okay. You motherfucker. Why did you do that? Because you pointed a gun at me, dude, man. Dude, you came to my house at 12 o'clock at night. I'm sleeping. Oh, that's true. It is fuck. It is like dark. I didn't even think about how late it was, too. God damn, I got to protect my house. Oh, my God. Get the, get the ambulance. Go ahead. Man, I'm going to die. They're coming. They're coming. You motherfucker. I can't believe you did this to me. I'm good. This guy's got two gunshot wounds. The f yeah, don't worry. I'm good. Don't worry, guys. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I just shot this guy. We're good. I can't believe he did this to me, man. Okay. We're not going to talk about this right now. We're going to focus on keeping you alive, okay? So take some deep the breaths. The cop's just brushing it off. Calm down. <laughs> and we're going to get... See, see, remember what we saw at the beginning of this video? The dude who was very human about it. Who was actually like... He is not apologetic. Doesn't feel bad for it whatsoever. Feels validated in his gunshots. Doesn't fucking care. This this is the shit I'm used to seeing whenever a cop shoots someone. They're just like, don't give a shit. I'm validated. You're wrong. You're, you're going to be okay, all right? Somebody hit a panic alarm for, for nobody, the love of God. Nobody here. What's the address here? That's where it came in from. We don't have an alarm. We don't have an alarm. The officer administered first aid to Tench until the ambulance arrived. Wow. Fortunately, Tench survived, but spent the first 30 days following the shooting with two bullets still lodged in his body. The press release from wow. the Greenville Sheriff's Office lieutenant the next day was absolutely bizarre. When the deputy knocked or rang the doorbell, made contact at the door, gentleman came to the door, jerked it open immediately, presented and pointed. Why am I even surprised? I... Why am I, how am I? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Pointed a gun directly at the deputy, at which time the deputy returned with, with fire. This oh, was false. Nice. The lieutenant's statement. <laughs> yeah was refuted when the body cam footage leaked, which clearly showed Tench did not open his door or aim a gun at the deputy. Tench later got a settlement of $650,000. There we go. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. Not $6.5 million. You know, not $6.5 million. Remember that guy? Remember the dude who got $6.5 million? No, no. This guy just got 6500 or 650000 not even a million, but still better than than what I expected. Dollars. Following an internal investigation, Officer Azara was found not to have violated departmental policy and of did not face Shut charges up, despite his involvement. Oh, in oh, 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 oh. Why would he face charges? Previous on-duty shooting Why in would which he? he fired ten rounds, resulting in the death of Joseph Inabinet several months ago. Up next, we have this bizarre. He already killed someone. Okay. And he's still on the force. And he didn't get any. Okay. He already killed someone. And he's still on the force. Oh, Lord. I can't.
bizarre case where an officer accidentally did this to his own partner. Police officers responded to a call about a domestic incident in Dayton, Ohio. Okay, they discovered we get a the dub right here, chat. We get a dub right here. as they approached, the atmosphere got heated as he refused to cooperate with the officers. Okay. I can arrest you for failure to disclose if you want to. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm, I'm here all day. Well, we didn't call you. There's, okay. We didn't call you you no. didn't call me. Your mother called me. For no reason. And, and there's something me. going on with you because your eyes are all red. You look like you've been crying. Smoke? I'm allergic okay. to smoke. Okay. Well, then tell him no smoke around you. This is my car. Well, that, that okay. Right. I need your ID. <clears throat> I ain't telling you again. Let me see your ID. Listen, dude. We got cold. Okay. See? Honestly, so far, so good. Remember the last cops that just walked up, didn't say a word, asked for his name, and then just started arresting and tasing him? At least, see, this is where you're supposed to. You're supposed to walk up, ask for ID, explain the situation, give him ample time before you start doing, don't jinx it. Okay, obviously, it might get bad. Obviously. But I'm saying, so far, good I'm start. Several people called, okay? So we need your ID. Or you can be arrested for failure to identify yourself to a police officer. Okay? It's your last chance. Okay, do or we're going to take you out of the car. We're going to cuff you. Three seconds. You. One. Chris. Give us two. Chris. Are you going to be charged? Three. Wait, wait. ID or no? Chris. He counted the three. Where? Okay, dude. You can't, you can't empty chamber that shit, man. You can't shoot a blank like that. Come on. You can't three, two, one a grown man and not deliver. You gave him to the count of three to a grown man and you didn't deliver. Come on. Embarrassing. All you gotta do is comply, dude. Chris, come on, stop. Let's go. Chris. Let's go. Chris, Let's go. stop. He didn't do anything wrong, bro. Stop. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. You're under arrest. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. The officers forcefully attempted to remove him from the vehicle, and the worst happened when one officer, resorting to his stun gun, accidentally uh -oh. shot the wrong person. <laughs> While attempting to deploy his laser <laughs> at the suspect, one prong inadvertently <laughs> struck the suspect, and the other hit his partner's head, causing the partner to cry out in Oh, he hit him in the head? Oh shit! Agony and collapse to the ground. Stop! Sorry, Sorry Nick. Damn, he got shot in the head with that? Yeah, friendly fire, Damn, dude. Holy back. shit. Got me. Stop! Dude, can that girl chill out? Oh my god. Like it's like they're not like they're actually being pretty chill with him. They just tased him and cuffed him and he's good. Like calm down. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Nick. Put your hand behind your back. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At, maybe yeah, maybe she's she's worried that the cop got hurt. Yo! One, two, three, rude with the ten gifters. Let's go. Thank you. Can you die or have brain damage from taser to the head? I don't know because I know it like sticks you. It like stabs you. So I don't know. I mean, I don't think it give you brain damage, but I mean, it might fuck with you. I got Nick with one probe. The officer sustained severe injuries and required hospitalization due to Oh, a head injury. The suspect, later identified as 22-year-old Christopher McClinton, was arrested for failure to disclose personal information and resisting arrest. Although the officer in this incident had no intention of shooting his partner. Damn, he got severe injuries from that? This officer in the next case believed he had every reason to shoot as the target was clearly wearing a robber's mask. However, what he discovered next was shocking. <laughs> One, two, three. Holy sh look at all them guns. Whoa, 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 that didn't work. Let's just say this never happened. Okay, bye. No, what? Hey, what? We're doing a oh, This was the moment an actor wearing a mask emerged from a bank during a movie shoot. Unbeknownst to him, Crawfordsville police were on wow. site responding to reports of an ongoing active robbery. Ha! <laughs> oh my God, dude.
You just instantly shoot the guy? I mean, I guess he had a fake gun, but still. Awful timing. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Now. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Jesus! Drop the gun! When the Thank God he missed. Police officers observed the man emerging with what appeared to be a gun. They instructed him to drop it before an overzealous officer amongst them discharged his weapon. We're doing a movie! Excuse step me? Back, hey, step back! Step back! Hey, step back! Step back! We're doing a movie! Step back! Step back! Wow. Step back now! Put get down on the ground! At back. least I have a sign saying it's a movie shoot. I mean, good point. Good point. I feel like if you're doing something like that, but it's probably like, I don't know, a small movie, they don't have a lot of money or whatever. <clears throat> get down on the ground! You know, they must be really good actors if he shot at them, you know? Hey, you guys better get out of here, man! No. Hey, stay inside! Stay inside! Stay inside. Stay inside! We're filming a movie. I ain't lying to you. You guys know me? Bro, you still got your gun out? Like, why? Hold on real quick. Yeah, go around. The actor, later identified as Jeff Duff, had a close call as the bullet grazed past his head, striking a building nearby as it Oh, he, oh shit, he could have been dead. Indicated by ballistic reports, the actor was neutralized and his assertions were correct as Indiana State Police later discovered Montgomery County production was- He was aiming for the head? Yeah, I thought he was just shooting a warning shot. I didn't think bro was actually like trying to kill him. Filming at the location and the guns at the production were all props. However, no one had informed the police or local businesses about the ongoing movie shoot. After reviewing the footage, oh, okay. authorities opted not- I mean, I'll, I'll say that much. That is fair. That like, you know, no one had any indication that there was a movie press charges on. against any of the parties involved in the incident. They mandated that they be promptly informed in the future about any movie productions involving prop firearms. If you enjoy videos like this, please like. Damn. That was crazy, though. Yeah, but no one fired at the cops and he shot to kill. Yeah, that is what's scary. Like, I would get a warning shot, which is what I thought he was doing. I thought he was just shooting next to him. Like saying, hey, bro, do like drop it. But bro was just going for the kill. That's insane, dude. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribe? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.